Hey there guys, welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Cambot video. Uh, today, uh, we're going over my favorite map, Inferno. So, let's get right into it. So we're going to do the mid smoke from T-Spawn. So, you can line on this. You don't have to be like, just make sure that you're up on this ledge. See how I'm like, you know, going down as I get off the ledge? Just make sure you're up on the ledge. And just aim, you know, right about here. You know, start off at the roof level. And as you're running, you just going to move up a little bit. You move your crosser up a little bit. That's gonna smoke off me perfectly. Uh, that's how I do it. But another way you can do it is, uh, I you know I was aiming right there at the, uh, you know the end of the roof. If you want to go up to the very top of the roof, that's gonna work as well. You know that way you don't have to aim up at all because I I have to aim up a little bit as I run. So I mean either one of those works. So that's the mid smoke from t-spawn and i already did a b site grenade so i'll leave an annotation for you guys on the screen if that's it, so you guys can check it out i will have some b smokes or some uh yeah some b smokes for you guys on here as well but um for the most part a lot of the b nades were already done in another video so i'll link you guys to that okay this is going to be for pit you're coming to the you know alt mid Going to this shadow of the antenna. Gonna come up to like the upper third of it. Gonna go to this antenna right here on the left. Just draw a line and just so you're somewhere in between these. You don't wanna be any farther than up to the right of this. You wanna stay to the left of this and to the right of this. So you're just gonna, you know, right about there it works. That's gonna smoke off pit. That's more of a situational smoke than anything. It's not so much of a rushing smoke as much. This is gonna be for boiler and porch smoke off if you're looking to go archway. Uh, line yourself up with the clothesline back all the way against the wall. Uh, you're gonna be, you know, you should be able to look up and you'll look right between these two studs on the roof. Go to the left one, just look right at the left one. Pull it, and as soon as you jump, just throw it. Just laying down smoke. There you go. Uh, now it will happen a little different. If if you're if you throw it, you know, a little too late, it'll bounce off the roof, and then it'll go up here, and then it'll blow up on the roof. So, I do suggest practicing that one, not just going, you know, cold turkey into it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the archway. Uh, smoke now okay so with this one what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, line yourself up you know just start off at the clothesline really but you see this this window right here you're not gonna want to be able to see that okay so I can't see that anymore perfect now you see the corner right there I'm gonna aim right there you know second clothesline in corner Throwing smoke. it should work Yep, there we go. Perfect. See, it just barely, barely hits. Uh, I'm gonna show a different way for you guys to do that. Maybe give you a little more room for, for air to work with. So you can't see the window anymore. Good. All right, you see the little pins holding the clothes up. Or you're gonna go to these, you know, the blue polka dot boxers, and you're gonna aim right above the left pin. This. Okay, it just looked a little, uh, uh, there we go. It just looked a little different. Per, uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Smoke. Aim right above the left bobby pin that's holding up, or not the bobby pin, the, the left closed pin that's holding up. And the same thing, so those are the two different ways that you can do that smoke. Okay, so now, let's see, I showed you guys archway okay here's here's another one that I found out you come to the clothesline you see how the clothes kind of sway in the wind and the shadow comes with them you just gotta you know, come somewhere out you know on the left half of it on the left side of that shadow when it's fully swayed and for me I take my crosshair and I put it right I put the very bottom part right on the tip of the um, 
on the roof. And laying down smoke. Let it rip. This is gonna smoke off the left side of quad or you know top of mid or whatever. So I mean this is good, but you know, if you do this, be sure to always, you know, check right here. Same with the boiler smoke that I showed you guys. Uh, sometimes they will come up and get, they'll sit right here. So, you know, just, you know, double check your corners and whatnot. Oh, here's the smoke that I found out, which would kind of, I think, is maybe going to be a little useless. And it's incredibly situational. Uh, really, like, if you if you push B, you know, once or twice and you, and you do a successful job on both times. Uh, and you want to make them respect it, but you, you're going A. You know, this, this would be a... a a very very interesting smoke so you're gonna line yourself up your alt mid you come into you know in between you know T halls and, and apartments and or I guess this is called alleyway yeah, this is alleyway and so you're coming up you're back against the wall and you're moving till you can't see the side of this in your wall anymore so we're good all right now I'm taking my crosshair I'm really okay. You see how you have the railing on the balcony, then the the corner of the balcony. You're gonna come like right in the middle of those, and you're gonna go up to the power line. Okay, and you're gonna take, you know, it's about two to three steps, and then you're gonna jump, and then you're gonna throw as soon as you jump. Smoke. Oh, that was terrible. Let me just double check. Yep. I like go too soon. Come up. Throwing smoke. So, nope, not better at all. Wow. All right, third time's trying. Let's do this. Laying down there smoke. we go. That was beautiful. And so, I mean, this is going to smoke off spools. So, I mean, this can look like a legit smoke that's coming from banana. So, they're going to respect it. And so, then after that, you can push into A. And, but the, there's at least one that's going to stay B because he's going to, you know, respect it or they're going to rotate incredibly, you know, they're going to, with a horrible efficiency, they're going to rotate very slow. So just let me go over that one more time for you guys. You're going to line up back into the wall so you can't see the side of this anymore. Aim right in the middle of the corner and the railing, go up to the power line. And yeah, that's how you do that one. And let me show you guys a pretty cool smoke that I saw in a professional game actually I forget who it was but uh, it's it's called the one-way smoke and you see how it's kind of like dark right there you're gonna aim right below that so you're gonna come you're gonna crouch aim right below it smoke. okay and what this does is you can actually run up on the cart and you can see them but they cannot see you and it's 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 really fun to do I've done it in a couple games it's really fun to do just have like two or three people sitting there and you can see them but they can't see you and I've actually you know had people run through that smoke as well but these are some you know fun uh, smokes to use and they're they're pretty damn cool too this is why I love this map because you get you can like that and that nade point all the way from you know alley to here I found that all by myself just sticking around the same one with where I banked it off the roof of the, uh, the, the bell tower you know and smoked to you know the left side of, of mid I found that out just by you know total mistake that's why I love this map but also a little tip for you guys crossfires when you're CT are where the money's at that's what's gonna you know really help you win rounds you really gotta be able to set up you know multiple crossfires on a map and you know in different ways because I mean you know like if you're if you got a guy playing you know closet and you got a guy playing right here if they get you know if they get right there I mean that's just two of you just sitting there mowing like complete crossfire I mean welcome to the meat grinder okay so, and the thing about Inferno is it's the king of crossfires. I mean, you just, you can't set up crossfires any other way like you can in Inferno. So really, you know, when you're positioning yourself, you know, CT, try to set yourself up for those crossfires. Like really, you know, try to, 
you know, if you got a guy playing aggressive and banana in your CT, you know, he's sandbags or he's car, you know, come, you know, come up and support him, you know, get like right here, you know, so it can be, you know, kind of a crossfire or if he sandbags, you know, get back here. Like it, so it sets up some sort of a crossfire because I mean, two people shooting bullets are way stronger than one. And the thing about Inferno is it's so damn good at being able to set up crossfires. But that's just about, you know, everything that I have for you guys so far. Uh, hit the like button if this helped you at all. Also, if there's anything you want me to go over on this map, maybe you're struggling on T side, you don't exactly know what to do, or you're struggling TC CT side, or you just want to get better, just leave a comment below and I'll, you know, I would be more than happy to make a video for you guys, you know, a quick little, you know, five minute video to help you guys with these things, you know, on really on any map. And I hope to be coming out with more of these tips and tricks soon. But I thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.